Yes. It pays to have good credit. You would always want to be on the side of having good credit. Do you think it pays to have good credit? Welcome to the It Pays to Have Good Credit podcast, where we talk about credit scores, business, finances, and take calls to answer all questions related to those topics. To call in, call 225-243-9700 and press option one to join in. All right, so let's talk about the best ways to build your credit without getting in debt. Now, the number one mistake people make when applying for credit or trying to build credit history, they go out and get one of these personal loans with like a thousand percent interest added to it and it just puts them in debt or they get a credit card and they just max it out and they just think they make the minimum payment throughout the year, you know, and they never pay off the credit card and they get in credit card debt and it just ruins their credit more than anything you know so i'm a big believer in using credit to either make money or only using it for things that increase in value like a home so i do not suggest using credit to buy a liability or buy something that doesn't make money or buy something that reduces your cash flow and isn't you know earning you more money. So like a business owner that uses credit to pay for marketing and things like that, or pay for inventory in return, they're going to make more money on the investment than, you know, the interest or something like that. So that's my thing with building credit. You don't want to go out and apply for stuff just to claim you're building credit because it just costs you money. So here are some of the easiest ways to build credit history let's say you're trying to buy a home you know in the future and you have a zero credit score you know i will only stick to these next few items i'm about to tell you to do um a credit card that is one of the easiest things to build your credit now when it comes to a established credit profile i would suggest at least having three lines of credit reporting so let's talk about a few things so with a credit card it costs you nothing and I know that may sound weird for some, but it literally costs you nothing if you use it correctly. So with a credit card, you can get a credit card, activate it, and just put it inside of a shoebox or lock it up inside of your safe and just not use it. Every month, it's gonna report a zero balance, which means paid in full for those that don't know. It doesn't matter if you use the card or don't use the card. As long as it's zero, it's gonna be reported as paid in full, okay? so that's one way it doesn't cost you anything or if you just have to swipe that card only swipe it for what you can afford to pay off within a month by the due date so don't go and get a one thousand dollar credit card and you know go out and do something stupid like take a road trip or a vacation and you spend that thousand dollars and the end of the month come by or the due date come by and you don't have a thousand dollars to pay off and now that credit card is maxed out so instead of building credit it hurts your credit and then now it's costing you money because interest is added to that one thousand dollars like 30 percent interest so that's the dumbest thing ever so if you use a card just don't even use it just let it report for a few months and then you know five or six months later you have established credit history from that car reporting paid or on time every single month or if you use the card for gas or snacks or something that you can afford to pay off within a month, you know, $200 or $150, whatever the case is, uh, and you pay it in full, well, boom, the balance is zero. It doesn't cost you interest. And then it reports to your credit. And when it's time to buy a home in a few months, you know, the banks can see that you're pretty consistent and reliable with paying things back on time so that's two ways that a card will not cost you anything and when i say spend a little bit because some people are like oh well you just say it doesn't cost anything but you just told me to go buy stuff buy things as as in things that you're going to buy anyway you know if you're on the way to work and you plan on putting 50 dollars of gas in your car instead of just using your 50 dollars cash or on your debit card use the 50 dollars in credit on the credit card and just use the 50 that you had already to pay off the new 50 that's on the credit card it's the same thing except it builds your credit but to avoid all of that just leave it at zero and it builds your credit you know every single month um 
Now, let's talk more into building credit that don't put you in debt, at least a lot. Um, you can apply for credit builder accounts. There's many of these accounts online. You can go in your app store on your phone these days. There's one company called Self, as known as uh, Self Lender, I believe. And they have accounts to where it's an installment account because you're gonna need both. You're gonna need revolving accounts reporting to your credit as well as installment accounts. You cannot have established credit with just one credit type. You have to have revolving, which are credit cards, and installment, which means loans. So do not get a personal loan. You're gonna ruin your, your finances with that, paying 60% interest on a, a loan. Just don't do it. And it's gonna ruin your debt to income ratio. So only do things that doesn't cost you anything or doesn't cost you much. So with a credit card, it costs you zero. And we just discover you can get one or two of those accounts. Um, most of you may need to get a secure credit card, by the way. If you have a zero credit card, I mean, zero credit score, you cannot apply for a normal traditional credit card. You will have to apply for a secure credit card where you deposit your own money to the card and they give it back to you as a credit card form. You know, they take paper and give it back to you in plastic. Because with a zero credit score, you are considered high risk for lending or funding, and you are at risk of not being reliable or not paying back the money that you spend on the card. Uh, so you will have to apply for a secure credit card. I have one that's on our website, sturgiscreditrepair.com. If you click the credit building products tab, you can see some of these accounts I'm about to talk about, as well as the secure credit card that do not put a hard inquiry on your credit report. So moving back to installment accounts, you can check out Self or Self Lender in the App Store. I think they have, uh, I think some of their programs were like $10 a month. Maybe with inflation, things have gone up to $15 a month. And what happens is that money goes into a locked savings account and it's not a contract or anything. So you can use it for a few months and then close the account out right before it's time to buy a home. So that money isn't considered or calculated into your debt to income ratio. So self lender, you pay $10 a month, you close the account, you get the money back. Now I do believe they take a fee out of that, but at the end of the day, it doesn't cost you anything. It's building your credit and then it's saving you money. That same concept, a company called Credit Strong, creditstrong.com does the same thing. You pay 15 or $20 a month, it goes into a locked savings account. So these are secure loans. These are secured credit building accounts. So it doesn't matter if it's a secure credit card or secured loan, you get the money back. It's just a deposit that you're doing. So self lender is one and credit strong is the other one. Uh, Creditstrong.com. You pay $15, $20 a month, goes into a locked savings account. If you want to cancel or you complete the term and the account close, you withdraw the money. It goes back to you. You built up a little savings. So uh, you save money as well as build credit at the same time. So those are the only two things I would suggest using to build your credit so you can finance your first home or buy a home, whatever the case is, or maybe you've previously had credit history, you paid off everything 30, um, you know, 30 years later, you paid off your mortgage. And once that finally fell off of your credit after 10 years, you're back at a zero credit score because your good credit history reports for 10 years before it falls off. And if you haven't financed anything else since then, you will have to build your credit all back over. So those are a few things I would highly suggest checking out. Those are three lines of credit uh, that you can do to build your credit history. Again, that was a secure credit card. Uh, the self lender app, and then the credit strong website. Those are three lines that will build your credit history. If you use credit to improve your lifestyle and would like to share your story on the It Pays to Have Good Credit podcast, feel free to reach out to us at info at sturgiscreditrepair.com. Sturgis is spelled S-T-I-R-G-U-S creditrepair.com. 